So I guess it's just the Fifi show today. I hope you're okay with that. I know I am. Oh, Fifi, wait, uh, wait, here I am. Oh my gosh. You know it was too good to uh, be true. I'm so out of breath. Oh, just give me a minute. Oh, so <laughs> we should introduce ourselves or I bet you have already. Yeah, well, the important one I introduced, me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but this is the Kiki and Fifi show. Now, did you tell them about our map? No, I'll let you do that. Oh, but that's your thing because you, you have that little gadget too that I'd love to get my hands on. Nope, you can't play with it. It's checked out to me. Just like I don't loan my books to people, I don't loan my play things to them. Oh. This is our map. Hey, come on here. We'll be using this map today to show you as we travel with books. Where are your books going? Well, I did pull this big book. It is called A Thousand Places to See Before You Die, and it is by Patricia Schultz. Now, I know it's not the most uplifting title, but it is a beautiful <laughs> book. And do you know what? Just open it to see the beautiful pictures. And there are pictures of where Fifi will be traveling in Northern England and around London. I'm going to be going to Moscow. There's no cow in Moscow, is there? No, Fifi? there is not a cow in Moscow. So it is Moscow, and then we will be traveling more places. We're going across the pond, the Atlantic Ocean, to Washington, D.C., Maine, California. We are going to have a wonderful program for you today. But I just want you to know this book is available at the Berlin Library. Can't you just see yourself sitting on your couch, paging through it, looking at those gorgeous pictures? Or you could have your family around you and you could be planning your next trip. Oh. It is heavy, yes, but it's well worth it. Just settle it right in your lap. You'll be fine. <laughs> so take it away, Phoebe. Well, my first book today is called The Crossing Places. It has, oh, oh, let me get my toy. Oh, I'd like to try that. I really would. No, 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 and no. Hey, what'd you do to it? You broke it on purpose. I didn't. I really didn't. <laughs> it's there, happened here. There it East is. Anglia, on this side of Great Britain. Ooh, I can hardly wait. It, this is an excellent book. It is part of a series. Um, Ruth Galloway is an archaeologist. She lives in a place called the Salt Marsh, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's on the edge of a very uh, remote area. And... She's an archaeologist, as I said. She gets pulled into searching for a missing child with the police department. <clears throat> and she uses her expertise to help search and try to find this child. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Take off your glasses. You're, you're here. And this is a little heavier than what I usually read. It's an excellent series. I'm already up to the fourth or fifth book in the series. If you like um, intrigue, it's a, I would say it's more of a suspense. It's, I can't stand the old gore or the blood and guts kind of thing. So this is more of a suspenseful thriller. And you think you know who did it, and right at the end, boom! Yep, it's not who you think. Good book. First one in the series, we have this one here. We have several of her other books here. Totally recommend this one. That's my first book. Oh, and I showed you where it was. Where's yours? Well, are we gonna stay in England or are we moving on to Moscow? Yeah, because my second one's in England too. You know, I've got this thing about series. Each of my books comes from a series. What does that say about me? Something good, I'm sure. I well, look, I'm gonna go on to this one. <laughs> well, I like series too, Phoebe. I don't know if it pertains to you. This one is um, an Agatha Raisin. M.C. Beaton wrote this series. She also wrote the Hamish Macbeth series. In this one, Agatha Raisin, she was this big time PR lady in London and she just throws caution to the wind and moves out into the cop wall. Oh, let me show you. Um, you know, somewhere, do you think it's in this area? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, look at the button on Great Britain. You got the area right of me. Yeah. She moves out to the cop walls. 
And in this book, um, a doctor has disappeared. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. What, it's the wrong what, book. What happened? The doctor disappears in this one. What happened? What happened <laughs> to the book? So she's moved to the Cotswolds. Look, nothing's going her way. <laughs> nothing's going our way. <laughs> Good thing we got editing, right? Yeah. So, um, she scared it. She, she needs this low key case because she's had all this excitement. <laughs> <laughs> and we are bringing excitement to you today. So she takes this case of um, a cheating spouse. And she usually doesn't do these. I know. She usually doesn't do these. Well, in the meantime, uh, a young girl goes and disappears. So she takes that one for free because the, the cheated spouse is paying. So she's going to do this one for free. And this is very lighthearted. Uh, these are fun. This is a whole series. This is not the first one. But um, I enjoy these. I do enjoy these. Well, it sounds like you do. I it do. It sounds like you do. I do. Okay. And You're wow, up. Wow, I am glad you did end with that lighthearted one because mine is not so lighthearted, but it's a really it's a really good book. It's called The Secrets We Kept by Lara Prescott. Where's this one? Moscow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going from Oh wow, which side is it on? It is. What is it? Yeah, it's right up, up above the P. Oh, I see it. It's yes, right here. Right there. Right there. And this book takes, oh, let's see. It takes place in 1956. The Cold War is going on. And it tells the story of how the CIA became um, active in the publishing of Boris Pasternak's Dr. Zhivago. Zhivago finished the book in 1956, but they would not allow it to be published because they felt it was anti-Soviet. Enter the CIA, who has trained typists to act as agents. They are going to spirit, oh, and it's Sally and Irina. Those are the two typists <laughs> who are really agents. So anyway, they spirit the book out of the Soviet Union. They get an Italian journalist to do it, bring it to the West, translate it, publish it, and then they send it back. And Boris Pasternak, he's pretty sure that he's going to be sent north to Siberia when all this breaks loose. So this is a great book, a great book. And just so you also know, we have a copy of Dr. Zhivago here at the Berlin Library. So if you have never read Dr. Zhivago, we have it right here for you. Excellent. All right. What else do you have for us, Fifi? Oh, oh. We're, well, oh, in what? my last book, I understand that. Okay, girl. <laughs> in my last one, we'll take a little trip right across the pond all the way to California. For another series, Sue Grafton. Sue Grafton wrote the Alphabet series. Uh, P is for Peril. In this one, you have the private eye, Kinsey Milhone. I hope that's the way you say her last name. I bet it is. I think it is. And um, in this one, a doctor has gone missing. And it's reported by his first wife not his current wife because the first wife thinks that the second wife who is a former Las Vegas stripper yes Fifi I didn't know you read books like that <laughs> it was excellent Ooh. and um, she thinks that the second wife has something to do with it so she's investigating this one also in this one uh, Kinsey has uh, begins to date again which if you've read any of Sue Grafton's books she is a very business-like private investigator. She never has a personal life of that kind. And then this one, she does. She has someone that she dates. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how it turns out. This one's got a few twists and turns. Uh, probably more turns than a plate of spaghetti. This one really gets you going. It's got a lot. Um, excellent. If you like any of her others, you'll enjoy this one. I love these. Uh, and they're not that heavy. They're not like the crossing place heavy. They're kind of in the middle, not this light, but, you know. And not a heavyweight. 
That's what you need. Yes, and this is in this takes place in California. It's in a little fictional town based on Santa Barbara. So you've got those cool ocean breezes and a wonderful story. Well, we have one more book today, and oh, where's this one? Fifi's going to take us all the way across the United States to mm -hmm. Maine. And I'm driving, so it will be a quick trip. If it was, oh. Kiki, if it was Kiki driving, we'd oh. get there about six months later. Oh. Now that we are in Maine, we are recommending the book, or at least I am, The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda. Now I can't think of a better place to be in the summer or the autumn than Maine, but perhaps Sadie Lohman shouldn't have gone to Maine because they have found her body on the beach. <laughs> the Lomans are part of the wealthy people that common vacation in Littleton, Maine every year. Avery Greer is a local, and usually the locals and the wealthies, they do not coincide at all. But Sadie and Avery have been friends for 10 years. Is Sadie from the wrong side of the tracks? Oh no, she's from the wealthy family. Oh, the is Lomans. he from the wrong side, wrong side of the tracks? No, Avery is sort of the wrong side of the yeah, tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. always have some of those in our town. Yeah, that's <laughs> our <bad. laughs> Well, I shouldn't say that because you're from what? That big town down in Tennessee. Right above Memphis. Yes. So anyway, it's very unusual. Like I said, the summer girl and the local become friends. So what happened to Sadie? And is Avery involved? What about Sadie's parents and that brother of hers? What are they hiding? And what about the locals? What are they hiding? You need to read this book and find out. Well, I've done all my traveling for today. Oh, oh no, I have a little more traveling. Do you have some traveling? A little bit, yes, because we know there are people out there that love their DVDs. Yes, indeed. So if you are not uh, in the mood to read a book and you would like to watch a movie, I read the directions and I stuck with traveling as the theme, unlike other people. We'll let her explain herself in a few moments. This was a book by Bill Bryce and this is called A Walk in the Woods. In this book, Robert Redford plays the lead role and he is excellent. They hike the Appalachian Trail and Nick Nolte is Stephen Katz and he was written for this role. I'm telling you, he plays it very well. They hike the Appalachian Trail. You get a little bit of history, not too much history. It's very entertaining and they hike the Appalachian Trail. Have you watched this? I haven't, but it is on my list. It should be. It's a great movie about the adventures of hiking the Appalachian Trail if you're a middle-aged man. I don't think he's having a midlife crisis. I think he just wants to hike the trail. Excellent. So, um, now Kiki can explain herself why she didn't follow the directions and stick with the traveling theme. What do you mean I didn't stick with the traveling theme? We're going to Atlanta, Georgia. Ah. Into your part of the country. Atlanta, right down there. Right. And this is called Trouble with the Curve. Clint Eastwood, Amy Adams, Justin Timberlake. Clint Eastwood plays an aging baseball scout for the Atlanta Braves. See, Atlanta. Yeah. Okay, okay. And Amy Adams is his daughter who is a high-powered attorney. Now, Clint is at odds with the front office of the Atlanta Braves because they want to take a young man in the first draft pick who Clint says cannot throw a curveball. Amy leaves her high-powered career and comes to help her father. But they're at odds too. And then of course, Justin Timberlake comes in as a pitcher who threw his arm out and now he's a baseball scout. What is gonna happen to these three? Well, I tell you, this is such a feel-good movie. It is just one I highly recommend. Whatever. Next. That is, I think that is what we have today. Oh, okay. I think that's good. We're I think, wrapping that up? I think we're wrapping it up, unless you want to talk about where we might be going the next time. Oh, 
Well, like I said, I did follow the directions and I looked for my favorite book that talked about traveling. I know. You should be in time out. <laughs> so I looked for books that talk about traveling and one of my favorites was Into the Wild, which goes to Alaska. Well, you had to think about that one. I did. <laughs> the, old brain, the old brain's turning off. Um, and I don't know. I'll think of some others. And I'm sure you will too. You look like you uh, very much researched your books, young lady. You know. Well, we do like to give them a new program, a good program. I think we did today, Fifi. I enjoyed that. So until next time, Kiki and Fifi.